Today we're outside of Gilligan's over here in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona because they have multiple uh, smaller challenges. Today we're gonna be going after the 20 jumbo corn dog challenge. So you get an hour to eat them and there's 20 of them. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much this weighs. I think it's around something like five pounds. Uh, Googled like a jumbo corn dog and it said something about like 112 grams. So if you win, you get the meal for free and then also you're gonna be getting a $50 uh, gift card to the bar. So you're gonna be, have to be uh, cashing in on some of that beer after the corn dog challenge. But yeah, it looks great in here, smells great in here. They got a really cool looking uh, bar restaurant. So let's get inside and check out the uh, corn dogs. All right guys, here it is, the uh, Gilligan's Corn Dog Challenge. So, all 20 of their delicious corn dogs. We also have ketchup, uh, the mustard, ranch, so some of the classic dipping sauces uh, for a corn dog, but it says jumbo corn dogs. I think it might be just regular corn dogs, but they look great, they smell great. I just had to wait like, you know, 20 minutes or something to let these cool down. They're just like straight up right out the fryer, so. Uh, again, if you win, you are going to be receiving a $50 bar tab and uh, you get an hour to do it. So I am absolutely starving. Uh, this is my third challenge in Arizona, so I'm glad to help you get into it. All right, let's start out with some of the, let's go with the uh, mustard ketchup combo because you know it's a classic. Oh yeah. Bringing it back to third grade here. All right, uh, three, two, one, corn dog. The original freezer food, the I don't want to cook, I am eating a hot dog covered in cornmeal item. Very delicious corn dogs we have here today. Definitely come in a lot of shapes and sizes. Talked to somebody the other day, said they had a veggie corn dog, which uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about, but probably tasted great. The, the beef wellington of hot dogs is awesome. Let's try some of this ranch. So yeah, these are awesome. I mean, I'm sure you've had a corn dog, but uh, these are cooked perfectly. The corn dog, definitely one of those foods where if you got a little buzz, got a few drinks in you, I mean, this thing may as well be the greatest thing you have ever eaten in your life. Not really sure where the idea came from to put meat on a stick, you know, the shape. Kind of feels like something you might find at a ditty party, but you know, they're tasting good, so. I'm willing to scarf down 20 of these delicious corn dogs. I'm not really sure how many people have tried this challenge, but definitely a good one. Let's go with the double dog. Whoa. Double fist and some dogs, let's go. This bar, definitely a uh, sports bar, definitely a sports bar atmosphere. It was getting kind of packed when I first got in there. They told me, you know, probably come around uh, a time before the happy hour because this place is just like flooded with people drinking, watching sports, having a good time, maybe eating a corn dog, who knows. But yeah, really great restaurant and it has a definite like Gilligan's Island theme. There was all of the lighting in there that was super cool. They had like this sand area and then the uh, swing and stuff you saw me in the beginning. So is it like a muffin? No, it's like a food challenge. Oh. Yeah, I gotta eat this in a certain amount of time. They get like a fry. What? An hour? I've been eating this for nine minutes. Okay, yeah. Good luck, you can do it. Yeah, thank you. Great people over here at Gilligan's. Alright guys, and uh, I'm for sure going to eat these, so we're actually going to be bringing out the uh, Totino's Pizza Challenge, so we're going to be eating 144 uh, Totino's rolls on top of this thing, so it's going to be wild. Just as well as 
All right, we got the last dog. All right, so we got this, and then we're gonna be eating the 144 uh, Totino's pizza roll, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, it said it was about like a few pounds, so I hope that's what it is, because yeah. It's gonna be kind of piping hot, it's gonna be a rough one, but yeah, this is a crazy food challenge. Somebody just asked me if I worked here, which is the first time, uh, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, let's get this corn dog down and uh, stick around for the pizza rolls. Okay, so the pizza rolls are here. They've cooked, they've been cooked, they've been brought out. I'm ready to try out all 144 of these. They look delicious. Uh, honestly, I don't think I've ever eaten a pizza roll, so I think I'm having some of those uh, pizza bagel things, but. I mean, these look great. All right, we'll get the timer going again. Uh, here in three, two, one. Pizza roll. Oh, hey. Can I tell them I started? Uh, I tried some of the ranch. Maybe later, I don't know. This is okay right now. Try the marinara. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, pretty tough to get down the Totino's rolls. This was definitely way more food than I was expecting. And then the time in between uh, the first challenge and this challenge, uh, total together the weight isn't that bad. But if you eat a bunch of food and then wait for a while, you know, drink some water, I'm sure you've had like a snack, you know, something like that, you start feeling pretty full, stuff starts digesting, so your stomach's really not wanting to expand again. So definitely going in uh, with a little bit of a handicap here in the pizza rolls, but hey, they're uh, tasting great, and the marinara is awesome. All right, these are delicious. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna take a lot longer than the corn dogs. These are harder to eat, and um, yeah, they're just like harder for stuff to eat, but they're really good. The ones that were told they were too much, too small, too loud. This game, there's a position for everybody. Yeah, about the eight minutes in here, guys. Definitely delicious. Um, I mean, yeah, I can definitely see why people be eating these after a few beers, but these are awesome. I got a diaper on right now. I have a diaper on. No. I would just, I, if I had to go bad, I would just leave, yeah. <laughs> The person I was just talking to was just some random girl in the bar. She was just like talking my ear off the entire time uh, for the challenge and it was pretty annoying, but uh, totally cool with talking to people. I like talking to people. If it's, you know, the entire duration of the food challenge, that's, uh, you know, a little distracting, a little tough to get down 144 pizza rolls, but hey, we're here. The people are friendly and it's a great challenge. Yeah, still a lot of pizza bites left. I'm not really sure what the record is, um, but I don't think anybody really has even tried out two challenges back to back. So. Other crazy thing that happened at this food challenge was that lady coming up to me asking me if I worked at the Gilligan's. Uh, she was like, hey, there's some broken glass outside. Somebody needs to clean it. And I told her like multiple times, uh, I don't work here. I am eating all of these pizza rolls right now. And I mean, I got my shirt with my name on it, a couple lights, uh, you know, a camera, a TikTok live stream going. So I was like, dude, where are you getting this whole, uh, I might be working here thing. But yeah, it was actually pretty funny. It was, it was like pretty hilarious. Yeah! 
overall gonna say I'm very pleased, very impressed with my first time experiencing the pizza roll. The marinara, not bad. Kind of a salty flavor overall, kind of savory. Definitely uh, would be good if you were just like craving something that you know is bad for your body. The only thing with these uh, pizza rolls is that they are like just mini volcanoes if you don't let them cool down. You bite into one, it pops, and you got lava all over your mouth. Oh, I got bugs on this one. Uh, I ate 20 corn dogs before this, so I just ate 20 corn dogs also. I got about 20 minutes left. Um, not a whole lot of pizza rolls left, thank God, because I'm totally sick of eating these. But um, yeah, definitely gonna have to push to get this for real done. Gonna tell you right now, it did not go well for the pizza rolls. I was not able to eat all of them. And if you go down here and try out one of their challenges and you successfully complete it, gonna let you know you cannot use that money for the failed challenge. I think I might have to stop being with the I might have to. Can I do it? I might get this close to Alright guys, I think we're just all good here. Um, it's been over an hour anyway on the pizza rolls, but uh, yeah, I'm on the brink of vomiting, so. Uh, I think it would have been a lot easier if they were like straight up like one after the other, but there was that long break in between, um, so. Yeah, I'm so cool. Um, that was a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, definitely not just two pounds, so. But uh, yeah, anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do about like paying for this, because. Uh, I don't know, I just used the bar tab, I don't know. But uh, yeah guys, we were on the area of Scottsdale in Arizona. Uh, just looking on down to Gilligan's. Um, it's a great place. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of people in here now, so they're going to happy hour, so it's awesome. Alright guys, and uh, thanks for watching the video, I'll see you in the next one.